bushwhack. Oh, I don't know. What was the genie doing? Yeah, for a hot moment, he went, you, 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 you. Oh, that, you know. oh, uh, like, hoo, hoo. oh, it's because of what? That's what Arsenio Hall used yeah, to do, Yeah, yes, right? that's it. It's an Arsenio oh. Hall reference. But he has the, the rotating motion. Bushwhackers, I think, is just up and down. But you, your fist is facing the ground to make sure everything's safe. Right. And if you're yeah, on... yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> to keep it safe. If you're, yeah. if you're Jersey Shore. Up, yeah. If you're, you're, Jersey, if you're on much. Jersey Shore, you do it up high. I learned this because I watched that tripe. They put their hands up here, see? So that's a Jersey Shore thing. Glad I got to share that with everyone. All right, let's go. Let's do it. This is happening now. Starting the show without any uh, pretense about... I don't know what that means. All right, here we go. I'm going to play the music, and Kristen, I'll pull you in in a second. It starts in three, two, one. Hello, listeners and watchers, and welcome back to another episode of There Will Be Dungeons. We had a bit of a break because of the uh, holiday uh, deal there, the Christmas break. And we missed you all terribly, but we're back at it. We're going to do another show right now. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us no matter how you get us. And thanks for your support on our premium uh, sign-up thing over there at the site at therewillbedungeons.com. More about that later. Uh, we're going to dive right in, get right back into it. And we're going to start with a recap with Kristen. Take it away. Last time on There Will Be Dungeons, Nash nearly nabbed the novel. But the nerd noting it noticed the nosy, noxious nuisance. Insults insinuated the two took to the terrace as Varel, Nothing, and Squirts burgled the book, but the beatdown did not detract from the deception. Varel punched the pursuer. Carrying a comatose halfling, Squirts took them to her temple to trick, maim his memory to nail their nab. While producing a potion, the team was tasked with the trick necessary to negate the negligent notions of their squandered squad. In the coming competition, they were to mortify the multi-metalist by mangling his machines. They returned to their roost. During dinner, nothing was approached for an appearance for an apparent assassination. She left to learn of the life to limit, and her mark was made. The big time Smackin' Brothers battle began. Participants were parsed for Pocus, and the lead was the lizard. Squirts cut his competitor with a sick stick and skedaddled. Brown met the match with the lowest league litigant, successfully strutting out his study. Next was Nash, who caught up his combatant in a series of stuns. And finally was Nothing, a sailing against another Kenku. Both contested to copy, but time tarried not, and the mimics mimed nothing more than mute machinations. Now rejoin our heroes as they continue to contend for coin! Will Varel total his teasers with his rank R rumbler? Can Nash nab enough knockouts to vie for victory? And does the guide give wrong reports to keep the current contender conquering? Stay tuned for today's adventure through the secret streets and baffling beats of Sigil. Bo, no pressure, but it's on you now. All right. Well, welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> Hope you had a wonderful Christmas holiday, listeners, as well as you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we need to get, I think, a little situated. Does anyone remember what we're doing? Well, remind me. I, tell me I if I'm wrong. Just lost a match. Yeah, that was my memory. Is that he just lost a match? I won a match, or no? Did I win a match? Yeah. You won your match. Yeah, first you first. won. Oh, that's uh, right. I did win. It was John who lost. Work lady. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was her name? I don't have it written somewhere, but I don't remember it. But there's an older orc lady, you know, who's knitting. Yeah. You beat you beat the orc lady, and then after you beat it, beat her, she gripped the the happy stick really tightly and broke the yeah. desk. She was rude. And then you flipped the bird at her and went away. Yeah. Um. And Kyle had be beaten, I think, a character named Farcred. A gnome. Oh no! Wait, you were Farcred, the gnome. I don't remember the name now. Jeez. <laughs> but the gnome you had beaten was very polite. So you each won your first match. Now you're here at the big time Smackaroo competition to try and uh, to try and win. There's a big five thousand uh, gold pieces prize. It was originally one thousand gold piece, but in the eleventh hour, just as the competition was starting, a anonymous uh, an anonymous donor donated another four k to the prize pool, the biggest prize pool this competition had ever seen. Um, now you're doing this, if you recall, for the reasons of uh, the priest Kidigree, whom Squirts serves, uh, offered, you know, to 
bring back your friends Stanley and Hope, but only if you paid in alms in the forms of tricks. And the big trick that you're trying to undertake is to serve some humiliation to the top M fighting player in Sigil, Kanja, with a beat down by the biggest nub in M fighting history, that being Varel. <laughs> I don't think that's how Varel sees it, but this is just how we're generally speaking about it. Um, uh, Squirts, you've been given six sticks to aid with the tricks to make competitors sick. And I think that covers everything. All right. All right. So if we're all in place, <clears throat> let us resume then. So we're not going to play out all the matches. This is the way it's going to go down. As the day of competition progresses, Varel and Nash, you meet your competitors head on and defeat them one by one. Through each round, uh, Varel, you've noticed that your contestants have complained that they were sick. But because you're newer to the game, you felt that each round was a challenge and a victory well earned. Even though I'm, you are aware that Squirts is up to something, you've let it not affect you, I think. And uh, Nash, uh, you know, your opponents, uh, you beat a little kid at one point. And, you know, the contestants haven't been all that tough, uh, you've noticed. So, you, you know, you're surprised at how deep you've even gotten. In fact, as the day rolls on, you've made it down to the quarterfinals. Whoa. So as you've beaten each uh, opponent, um, various stands have been folded up and set aside. And then all the people who are competitors have turned into an audience on one side of the uh, gymnasium. So as we get down to smaller and smaller pairings, the crowd builds and builds and builds. And finally, we're down to just four tables, uh, four, two stalls rather, actually it's two stalls. One of them is at the feature table uh, stall, uh, sort of on a stage in front of people, and one's uh, set to the side. Now you're down to the last four, and uh, you're just waiting to find out what the pairings are when it's announced that there is a lunch break. Truck Slayer and Gilly Plant get on the horn and say, well, it's been a great day of competition, uh, Gilly Plant, but it looks like it's time for break. Uh, who are our final contestants? And Gilly Plant goes, thanks, Truck Slayer. Um, the final contestants would be uh, someone called Nash Maggard of the Solar Mines. Uh, I haven't really noticed who that is. Seems to be a new player joining the competition. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, a Votrum. Sorry, the name eludes me a second. Sorry, I not Votrum. Isn't that medicine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Votrum? Yeah, I think so. What Votrum. did I call it? Uh, where's my list? I was so busy speaking. I forgot to refer to my list. Hang on. Uh, 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 ask your doctor. Ventro. Oh, Ventro. Yeah, Votrum's a medicine. Uh, we have Ventro, the the resident, the reigning champion, who's the favorite to take uh, take home the title. It'll be exciting to see who he faces in the next round once the pairings are decided. Uh, then we have someone named Minnow, uh, a regular here at the Coliseum. Uh, usually makes it very deep, but uh, she's never made it on to the top eight. And finally, we have another new player here by the name of Varel. And um, we haven't seen anything about this Pharrell, but uh, he's apparently uh, provided quite the beatdown to all of his opponents. We'll be excited to see if he makes it further. Well, thank you very much, Gilly Plant. Uh, we're off to the dinner break, and when we come back, it'll be the top four. And the audience goes, yeah! And there's a sort of audible, uh, very loud yell coming from the crowd. <clears throat> now, the four of you have been ushered by attendance of uh, organizers uh, to a room off to the side as you're all together. Um, it's sort of this lunch area for competitors only in the later stages and you enter into a small chamber that has six or seven benches and then there's a buffet table towards the end with <clears throat> various meats and salads and dessert cakes and uh, the attendant who is a, who is an elf uh, wearing a you know button-up shirt, nice black slacks and shoes says, Please help yourself to whatever food that you would like. You've made it deep into the tournament and have earned a dinner on us. Best of luck in the future rounds. And then he sort of bows to you and then he exits the room. Now you're alone in this room besides uh, someone at the table. There's an attendant at the food table. who has got like a chef's apron on. He's a, a humanoid male. I have a tiny, we're, tiny... Oh, go ahead, bro. We're the only contestants in this room. You're the only contestants in this room at the moment. So is it 
let me if I understand this right, are Varel and I both in a will we be content in contention for, with each other at some point if we've come this far in the tournament? Like well, a, there's four. You're at the quarterfinals. Okay. And there's four contestants left, and two of them are Varel and Nash. Okay. So in theory, we could be the final two. Depends how pairings go. Okay. So neither one of those are Kanja. No. So today is the qualifiers. Tomorrow is the finals. Oh. So you're playing for a spot in the finals here. Okay. Friends, this food is likely poisoned. Why do you say that? Because everyone I've fought today has been sick. They must have eaten this food that is given freely by the organizers to mm. weaken them. Mm. Does Nat, I can't remember if Nash knows about the sick stick thing, does he? Bo? I mean, everyone was aware of it. Kid Agree, you were all present when Kid Agree was saying the plans. Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll make a snarky comment with my weird lip sticking out of one of my aortas that says, um, your weird lipstick? Yeah, yeah, Varel. Yeah, my no, my weird lips. Those freaking weird mouth. My mouth. My weird mouth. Cause, right. Because right. I'm still mostly heart. Right. I got arms now, but you're mostly heart. There's a cat. There's two calves and feet. I think hanging. And then you've got two. <laughs> you've got an arm, a forearm, and a hand. And then you've got one full arm and one hand, an eye, and a mouth. Well, then I'll say to him, Yeah, Varel. There seems to be something going around. I say. I agree. All right. And as you say that, uh, the door opens up behind you, and the same sort of procession happens with the elf showing um, uh, another hooded character. Uh, she, she's an elf as far as you can tell. She's long and lean, sort of gray-skinned. And this elf says the same spiel to her, and she moves into the room, sits down, uh, takes a seat alone in the corner by herself put over her head. She just walks and just suddenly is there. Is she a finalist? I say to Burrell. You think so? You don't know. Hmm. I, you assume so because she's in here. She doesn't seem to have a procession. It's just her. Uh, neither of us must have fought her yet because she seems quite well. She seems healthy. Hmm. Stranger. Fellow player. Are you not hungry for the buffet? You don't get a reaction. She just sits there quietly. See? Poisoned. And friendly. And you don't make eye contact. She has her hood pulled over her eyes, so you just can't see her. Her, like the hood twitches a little bit when you speak, but no response otherwise. The elf comes in again from behind and says, now, if you would make your way this way, and you hear, get the hell out of my way! And then you just hear a smack, as, and then the elf just sort of bowls over and falls into the, one of the tables. It just like sprawls. Get out of our way, scrubs! And... It, Behind you, as you look to see who it is, you see a large alligator man wearing a strap, and he's just got an alligator head and a helmet, and he has a procession of about eight other like, different types of people with him. One of them looks like just this bald human with tattoos over them, super large. And there's a few other alligator men, and they, they're like, get out of the way, we're here to eat our dinner. Ah, and they, all, they sort of barge in, they're like, look at this thing! And one of them points at you, Nash. All right. Uh, like, get out of our way. And the alligator man walks in, puts his hands on his hips. He's like, this is our room. Boys, time to eat. Grab yourself some food. And then his procession of mostly alligator men with a few humans walk up to the table and begin grabbing plates and starts putting down, like, wedges of chicken and lamb on top of it. And they're just like, oh, and the chef's like, can I cut that for you? And they're like, get out of my way. And then, <laughs> they're just taking food. And the chef just moves over to the corner, super scared. <laughs> And they're just raiding the table now. Well, these guys are dicks. Uh, I'm not going to say anything to them. 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna just stay where I'm at and stare down the the okay. alligator guy. So 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 yeah, the most like there's uh, six alligator men, two humans. Okay, and then another larger alligator person. And they're full alligator, like they got long bills and eyes on the side, but they're humanoid somewhat, so they have humanoid characteristics where the eyes meet more in the center and they can see forward somewhat. And they're just piling like mountain of food on their plate, just putting all kinds of food on there. Uh, the biggest one also seems to have a pail with large sticks with fish speared through it, sort of attached to his belt, and he's got a, a large alligator belly. And he's like, eat up, boys, we're going to take this, no problem. He looks around the room and says, look at these guys, they're going to wipe the floor with them. Varel, are these your people? Are you king of these kinds of things, too? They look like lizard people. I've never seen their like before. Yeah, me neither. I suggest we one, ignore them. All, Sorry, go ahead. One, one, one by one, they all sit down, except for the largest one, who puts his plates down, but then looks over at you, Nash, and says, What are you looking at, you floating turd? I'm looking at a big-headed a-hole who came in here and ruined our night. You think you're going to beat me? I think we have a chance. You're a lot of talk. I haven't, I haven't actually seen you out there uh, competing. What? I've been competing all day. I'm Vo... Uh, I was about to say Votrum again. What did I call this? I'm Ventro, the champion of Royce Gymnasium. I've won every year. That's great. Have you not been here in the years past? Do you not know it's futile to compete at Royce Gymnasium so long as I... What did I name? Ventro. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Votrum. Ventro have reigned at Royce Gymnasium. I don't you know. You should just leave now. Well, we're good. Hey, boys. We're good. You're all like, yeah, yeah, kill that turd. <laughs> Look, your words mean nothing to me. We're, we have as much right to be here as anybody. We're not going anywhere. Just you guys eat in peace. We'll do the same. What a Care Bear. I'm going to beat you no problem. Where's your fighting spirit? It, <laughs> you get us out in the in the fight and then we can talk. For now, we're just, there's no fighting in here. You think you're smarter than me? No. He puts down his... his, his he Everyone's his... smarter than you! The mighty squads defeat you! Who said that? He looks around. No one can beat Ventro. Everyone beats Ventro. Ventro too stupid to notice. <laughs> Come out. Who said that? He can't see you. I don't know. You must be standing behind a table or something. He's Ventro hearing voices again. You stupid, stupid. What? And he smashes, he takes his hand and he smashes the <laughs> one on the table. The chef behind ducks down behind the food as he brings his hand down and smashes the table. He goes, come out, whoever said that. You said it to yourself? This is Ventro. Okay, uh, make a... Is there a trickery check? Make a persuasion check. All right, I got a nat 20. So Squirts is going to, like, squirt a little out of her butt. <laughs> it's going to be real weird. What? <laughs> what? It's a nat 20. It's why she's called Squirt. She gets so excited that she, like, okay. toots a little. Okay. The rest of the and, party uh, notices that it smells like shit all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, so maybe yeah. there's a little waft of something. Uh, well, I assume there, an actual thing like, came out. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. There's shit on the floor. <laughs> and, but anyways. <laughs> but it's an at 20. Yeah, it's an at 20. So he goes, he looks. He looks confused and he sort of stopped in place. He says, boys, did you hear that? Did you hear some pipsqueak insult me? And they all sort of chewing on their food. They go... No, boss. I didn't hear anything. Who's that guy? Really? Really? He says. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Says one of the alligators. 
Can you make it talk again? Maybe we'll hear it. Where's the pipsqueak who said insulting things to me? I'm going to find your family and rip all their spinal cords out by their anus. Squirts will stay quiet. There's a very concerned look on the alligator man's face at this point. Maybe I wasn't imagining it. Still, points to you, Nash. Turd, floating turd. I'm going to tear you apart. Well, then go for it. You know, let's see if if you got anything behind those words. Because right now you're just spewing a lot of hot air. We're trying to eat. He quietly looks and he says, I'm not used to people being so cool with being insulted. (laughs) Oh, trust me. We're used to it. Also, you don't want to get us really angry. I can tell you that. So everyone just do their thing. You can be as competitive as you want to out on the battlefield, a.k.a. the pull strings and fight field. And, uh, and but here we uh, just live and let live. Let's, everything's fine. I get it. And he sort of saunters on over. He moves up to your eye and he puts his eye in your eye and he says, you think you're better than me. I didn't say that. You didn't have to say it. You think you're above being intimidated by a true, true warrior. No, I'm super intimidated. Ooh, I'm inti- uh, so intimidating right now. I'm so intimidated. Ooh, I say sarcastically. <laughs> you, I don't know if you're trying to fuse the situation, but you seem to be frustrating him further. And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I keep going back and forth. Part of me wants to freaking throw down, but other part of me knows I'm a potato with limbs and I don't want to get in a fight yet. Just you wait. If I were to hit you now, I would get disqualified from the competition, and I'm no stupido. Stupido. <laughs> yeah. So you just you wait. Once we're done with this fight, I'll find you. Meet me outside. And we're going to sell this like two. Stupido. <laughs> hey, he points a finger, alligator finger at you. He says, watch it, birdie. Stupido. <clears throat> and one of the alligator men is like, hey, why don't you come and eat? And then after you can fight them, Ventro. We don't want you to get disqualified. He says, and then he turns back to his table, sits down in a huff. But before he does it, he looks at the elf in the corner. He says, you're next. And then he sits back down at the table and he's eating. He just takes a big handful of food, like just potato and chicken and like lettuce. Like he just doesn't separate anything. He just grabs it and he goes, ah, and his big mouth opens and he tosses it in his alligator bill. What means this uh, disqualification? It means you get kicked out of the of the competition, Varel. And and there, so if you break any of the tournament rules uh, or are caught doing so, you get kicked out and you're not allowed to play. I don't know. But I don't know so. if they, they they may have worse penalties than that, but I I don't know. I assume we just get kicked off the competition. So if this man throws a punch, we win. I mean. In well, in theory, yes. At least he he'll be out. So whoever's left still has to fight. But yeah, he he would be out. I have learned a great many words in my time in the arena. You want to egg him on? Hey, nerd! <laughs> I hear your JPM lack substance. <laughs> All right, everyone at the table, uh, they sort of slow their chewing and look up and look over at Ventro. And Ventro is completely motionless. You have their attention. You have insulted my friends, and you will face me in the battlefield, big fingered button boy. Turns around, he looks. He's like, Who's that talking to me now? This is Varel Vasfim Kirik, and you have insulted my friends, including Nash Maggard of the Solar Mines. We are great heroes of other worlds, 
and you, sir, are a gym jockey. He pushes the table out, and then, like, it, the table collapses onto his buddies, you know, his entourage, and they all sort of swearing food, and he pushes it out. He sits up, and he turns around, he looks, he stomps over to you. Oh, the runt is speaking to me. And he, looks, he comes up to you, and you notice he stands eight or nine feet tall. He's taller than you, as he pushes his chest upright and then looks down at you, towering above, and says, You want to say that to my face, pipsqueak? Runt, I have heard you are a penis main, and you spend all your time in the gym, <laughs> in the back, behind the curtains, facing justice of your own design. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Everyone says it. All right, roll an intimidation roll, please. Fifteen. He looks and he says, Well, has anyone told you the time that I kicked a gnome so hard in the stomach that his arms and legs exploded? That will do you, do you no good in Super Smackums. You talk tough now, but you're not going to talk tough after I beat you. I'm a seven-time champion of the Royce Gymnasium. You think what you say matters? Once we're done, then I'm going to rip you to shreds. Right, boys? They go, yeah, that's right, Ventro. And he's huffing and puffing. He looks at you. He's with. He's holding back his rage. He's clearly... Mentally unstable. <laughs> Clearly unstable at the moment. Is that so? I... Duck quick kicker only. <laughs> <laughs> All right, intimidation roll again, please. <laughs> Ten. You're going to have to find better insults if you're going to get me disqualified i've faced better opponents than you lucky noob who plays kung that's right don't think i haven't been doing my research on you you're playing the most newbie character <laughs> but ventro we too stupid to research he looks around me quiet <laughs> Boys, did you hear that? And then one of them's like, Oh, yeah, I heard that one. But I find that pipsqueak you have trying to whisper tricks in my ears. He cracks his knuckles and he's just standing there looking intimidating, not going anywhere. I cracked one knuckle in real life. I can't crack knuckles. Just for effect. Really? You can't crack like multiple? You can't crack a bunch of them? Nah, I'm not good at it, but I did one by accident. So mm. it happened once at least. This is the first and only time. All right, Squirts is going to roll a stealth. And here's here's the thought. Uh, Squirts stealths over, stabs his leg with two six sticks, then does that cloak of shadows. After stabbing was, yeah. All right, make your stealth roll. It's going to be an eighteen. Okay, so you quietly move under the tables and you get near uh, his legs. He stands very tall, and you're going to stab him. So I'm going to look for what would be an opening in the scales and stab mm -hmm. him. Okay, very good. Don't need a roll for that. He's not paying attention to you. He's not moving. You go in there, you stab, and he goes. Ow! And he looks down, and you're going to stealth. All yep. right, so make a stealth roll, please, as you cast your invisibility. It's a one. Okay, so you go to try and cast a stealth, and you're going to end up casting it, but before you do turn invisible, he looks down, and he sees a kobold with two six sticks <laughs> in his leg looking up at him, thinking probably she's invisible, but she's not. <laughs> and he goes, 
pipsqueak. And he reaches down, and just as he reaches down, you go invisible. Um, but he grabs you while invisible, and he has like this thing in his hand and raises it up, and he goes, What is this? And he looks towards you, Varel, and he says, What trickery is this? Okay, if it's possible, I then want to cast Duplicity. Okay. And uh, it creates an illusion of myself within 30 feet. So is it possible then to create an illusion that kind of falls to the ground like he let go? And then well, he has, the real you, he has the real you in his hand, so you could create an illusion, but casting a spell would make you visible in his hand, right? Except oh, attacking true. or casting a spell makes you visible. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, I'll stay invisible then. So seeing him hold up nothing currently, I'm going to just look and go, it's nothing. But, but I can feel something in my hand, and I saw a kobold with some Ventral weird looking very knives. Very stupid. What? Uh, roll very up, uh, stupid. Roll an intimidation roll, please. Uh, that's going to be 20. Listen, I, I've never met ruder competitors in this event ever. Most people take losing to me with some dignity. Spare yourselves the humiliation of talking so much smack before the competition, Burks. You will look so foolish when you lose. And he sort of, as he gesticulates, you know, squirts are being like whipped around a whole bunch, but he's not really paying attention to you. His focus is now... He's very, like, focused, you know, on whoever he's intimidating, so he's focused right now on nothing. So whatever you're doing appears to be working, but he hasn't let go of squirts. So nothing is going to point a very long, kind of bony finger right in his face, as close as it can get with my height and without touching, and just in his same voice, stupido. Roll intimidation roll. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, he, he, <clears throat> he seems, appears to let go of whatever is in his hands and he reaches down into his, uh, into his belt and shing, shing, pulls up two battle axes from his belt. And he goes, oh, that's it. I'm going to have bird for dinner. And he raises up the sword, the axes. As soon oh. as there's weapons, Nothing's going for blade and, uh, the blades. Okay, roll for initiative. Everybody roll. Everybody roll. Bo, can you remind me what I can not do or do as a as a floating head with a couple of weird limbs? Well, we don't know. Okay. We'll have to find out. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I was afraid of that. 12 for me, then. It's uh, 24 for nothing. Oh, I was going to say I have advantage on initiative rolls, but I rolled a 20, so I don't think that matters. 24 for nothing? Okay. Yeah. 20 for Varel. All right. And Squirt? 19. Okay. Oh, that was a fun sound. <laughs> that was a good sound. <laughs> it seems like, but what did I call? Oh, my God. What happened? Ventro. Jeez. I keep wanting to call him Botro. I love that you keep messing that up. All right, I'm gonna ask the lead. Okay. All right, so he brings his axes up, but everyone in the party is much quicker to react than this character is. Nothing, you're up first. Okay, so not wanting to be the instigator, despite having advantage nothing is just going to take the dodge action and be prepared to dodge any incoming attacks and we'll just say in an unfamiliar voice you will fall and then make the sound of a blade sliding into somebody's chest okay so you're taking the dodge action yep okay well done all right varel do you do anything i will stand wide like, you know, practically T-pose, I guess, uh, star pose, ready to receive a hit, knowing he would be disqualified. 
Okay, perfect. And Squirts, do you do anything? <laughs> yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Grovel, Cower, and Beg. So as an action, I can cower pathetically to distract foes, and that means until the end of my next turn, all allies gain advantage on attack rolls against enemies. Okay, so you literally go and like, don't hurt us, don't no, hurt us! No, please, don't hit! I have chunks, leave chunks, be! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. All right, Nash, your turn. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to back up behind Varel. I just want to be behind him. So I'm just going to move okay. there if I'm not already there. And that's it. Okay. And then, uh, then so Ventro brings up his battle axes, brings them up and attacks... Uh, nothing. Okay. But I need you to make. I need you to make a. Uh, let's see, a charisma saving throw, please. A charisma saving throw. Okay. Uh, that's a twelve. You made a twelve. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you go to. He brings down the axes whoo, within an inch of your face. And you, you try not to, but you flinch. You don't move, but you flinch. And he looks at you. He doesn't hit you with it. And he goes, ah, <laughs> I knew it. You're scared. <laughs> I made you flinch. You will lose to me. And then he puts the axes back in. Seem, ha having to seemingly forgotten about the incident with Squirts, however. Um, and he looks down at Squirts and he kicks Squirts. <laughs> Gosh. Freaking wow! All right. He, oh, never mind. That's, yeah. That's so he he just he just kicks you like punting a football. It's not really it's an attack, but not really an attack. But he kicks you, and it works. And he hits, and he kicks you in chunks, and you fall back into the wall. And you take a small amount of non-lethal oh. damage as he kicks you. Um, you take two points of damage uh, as you sort of go. I scream out, and you and chunks hit the wall, and then he goes back to his friends. <laughs> he laughs and his friends are like, Good one, Ventro! Yeah, that's why you're the boss! We Thank like you! Jokes on stupid! Jokes on stupid! <laughs> Who's witness? Do we have any witnesses outside of us in here? Like the, the dude bringing it's food? You guys, the chef is hiding behind the wall and the ushers are not in the room. You get the distinct feeling. That Ventro has been a reigning champion, and maybe the tournament organizers are also a bit intimidated by him, judging by his treatment of you and the lack of guards in the room at the current moment. But he goes back to his table, they put the table back up, they put the food back on it, they take more of the food from the, the buffet table and continue eating. I hate cities. <laughs> <laughs> and with that uh the elf uh, comes back to the room and says <clears throat> i'm i'm excuse me competitors i'm here to announce the next round of competition uh would you like to hear who uh, is up for the next pairings yeah it would have been nice if you were here four minutes ago by the way uh, what never mind continue so whose ass am i gonna kick next says ventro i'm looking forward to it and um, he says, uh, the first feature match pairing will be um, will be uh, Ventro versus Minot. And the next uh, pairing will be uh, Vorel, uh, Rasphim Curic versus Nash Magod of the Solar Mines. Oh. That can't be. We're friends. <laughs> That's uh, not, not not my fault. It's okay, Varel. Only, we... only be one champion, so you'll have to set your friendship aside in, in the name of, of sport, I suppose. Yeah. It... But I know all his weaknesses. Uh, 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 That's an advantage for you, then. Yeah, it's fine. It's Varel, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Just one of us needs to win. If it's you, great. Whatever. I'll say quietly to him. I, I don't want you to battle my friends. No, I know, but this is just a means to an end. It's not a... This doesn't mean we're really fighting or that we have a problem. It's just, it's just the way that the the dice got rolled here. We have to, we have to fight each other in this one way, and it's fine. 
It's important that we win, one of us, and preferably you, but, you know, just but don't worry we about will it. carry that shame all our lives. No, 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 only I will, because I think you're going to win. And then I agree, but I do not wish to shame you. You are my friend. No, I understand. I, here's what I promise you. I'll be your friend no matter what. And even if I'm just shamed so badly <laughs> by, by a defeat, uh, it's okay. That doesn't change how uh, our friendship can work. I promise you that. Uh, you, just have to, you just have to win, and everything will be fine. Like mind control. Kind of, yeah. Yes. Sure, let's call we it We are that. under competitive mind control. Yes. We knew this Very was a well. we knew this was a possibility if we got this far, so it's okay. We're we're prepared for this. Very well, and I'll jab him with my elbow, noob. You will be <laughs> fallen by my mighty stickery. Oh yeah, well look out, cause I've got a, a punch kick undercut ready for you tomorrow. You have given away your strategy, <laughs> foolish. <laughs> Having seen this, Squirts will run up and try and stab Nash with a six stick. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, make a stealth roll, please. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see, it's going to be a 13. Okay, um, you feel a little prick in your <laughs> in, in one of your ventricles. <laughs> um, all right. And as you go to look around, you don't see where it, who did it. Now you see squirts just sort of standing there taking care of chunks looking innocent as whatever and i need you to make constitution saving throw please all right damn <laughs> i was so hoping you were gonna do this <laughs> i didn't see it coming to be honest 20 not natural all right you are not poisoned oh good you, you say, but um, there's everyone else can see it, but you can't. But there's a, a little syringe sticking out of the back of uh, <laughs> Nash. <laughs> Great. Great. Maybe it'll go nicely with my little baby hand when it comes back. That's fine. It's going to get disqualified for juicing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And with that, the elf comes in. He says, well, competitors... It's time to take the stage again. We're ready for the next round. Has, has everyone made preparations? Get out of here, elf, says Ventro. Yeah, I think we're good, says Nash. All right, the gray-skinned elf gets up immediately, walks to the door, and exits the room without a word. What did you say her name was earlier? Minnow. Minnow, okay. Like fish. Like a baby fish. Like a fish. Yeah. Strange name for an elf, but that appears to be her gamer handle. Her marionette handle, I should say. <laughs> all right, are you all ready? I think so. Yeah. Varel, right, are, so... are you are you ready, Varel? This is a this is a, we're gonna fight, you and me. Pretty excited. Let's go. And we go. All right, so uh, you make your way out uh, back into the room and you see that there's a giant crowd of about 10,000. There's only two stalls left on the one side of the gymnasium. It's actually towards the center. There's a smaller stall area where you'll be seated at and then a large featured table, Marionette uh, Station. Um, you see that there's a giant crowd and they all have signs of all kinds of different uh, races and, and just like just colors and shapes and weird robot-like things and, and noodles and and just all manner of strange person they're all kind of just going yeah once people uh you would begin exiting and they, they cheer for you and there, there's a nice little cheer but then behind you ventro and his entourage come out and the crowd just loses it and you hear ventro 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 <sighs> And it's super loud and deafening, and there's all kinds of signs with the alligator man. And he just put like pictures of him posing. People really love Ventro. And uh, anyways, Minnow and Ventro take to the feature stage, and you hear the announcers talking a lot about Ventro and Minnow, and not really focusing on either of you at all. So you both make your way to the smaller uh, stall with all the crowd cheering for the feature table, and um, ready to get started whenever you are. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> let's do it. Wait, okay, do, do so, can Varel and I go first? How does this chosen who goes first? 
Well, you guys can choose your competitor. I mean, it's between you two about how you choose your competitors. I will upload the sh the sheets for the heroes. I, you know, you might steal Kung from him if you want to do that. I don't. I don't know how this is gonna go. Hmm. On the Slack, though, I put the rule sheets for the different characters. There's Bland, Kung, and Rubles. All right. I can't remember who how people get to choose their character though. We get we just uh, go. There's a character select screen. Whoever's fastest. Oh, I choose Kong. Uh, I will. I will. <laughs> I will choose Bland as fast as I can. Okay, so you guys will sit down. You take the happy stick. You look at the stall, and then you pick it. Bing bing, and then the marionettes come dancing down. <laughs> there's a little little fanfare that comes up and. Um, Hang on, I'm loading up the uh, stat sheet on my side too, but they have little intro things they say. So Kung comes down, brushes up some sand into the air, and it makes a dragon shape. And then he goes, My kingdom lives so long as I do. And then Bland jumps down, punches the air, goes, dish, 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 and then he does his high kick and he goes, By the will of tranquility, I will find my parents. And, and then, you know, you guys are in position doing the idle animation. And it goes three, two, one, fight. All right, so now that you're playing one another, you'll have to pick your moves and reveal them at the same time. Wow. So what are your moves? Well, I'm we gonna... can gentleman this. Yeah. I pick it in my head and then I'll say it. Yeah, I've picked it. Cool. So you say you go yours. First. All right, I'll go first. Um... I'm doing a quick punch. I'm doing a quick kick. All right, so quick punch uh, is for fastest. So, Scott, roll your attack roll. All right. Whoops. Oh, pitch. There we go. Ooh, a five. Okay, that's a miss. Uh, Kyle, you get your you get your quick kick now. Six. Six. You both miss. <laughs> There's a punch <laughs> that goes out, a kick that goes out. They both whiff. Okay. Next round. Pick your moves. All right, I got one in my head. I'm going. Ready. To, I'm going to choose a dazing blow. Okay. I'm doing a heavy kick. All right. So heavy kick is first, higher speed. So make your attack roll. Remember, it's ten, plus your Mary, your skill modifier, for marionette fighting. Or it's a D twenty plus your marionette modifier. Twenty, not natural. Okay, perfect. That is a hit. Um, so, you, Nash, you take uh, four damp. Wait, is it a heavy kick? Four damage? Heavy kick. Yeah. And you have ten stagger. Okay, uh, and you lose your move, so it's time to repeat again. Pick your moves. Wait, do I? Oh, I don't get to do my dazing blow because his thing staggered. No, his is faster and he hits you, so you lose your attack. Okay. And you start over. Yeah. I have a new one. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm ready. Uh, block. Yeah. Sandblast. All right, sandblast and block. So block, uh, let's see what sandblast does here. Sandblast, when sandblast reveal is activated immediately, uh, sandblast applies a minus three modifier to the opponent's attack roll. So that goes off, but you're blocking, so it doesn't do anything. Um, when do you block? Uh, and he technically rolls a hit, so you can roll a d6, but you have to roll a six to benefit from rush. Three. All right, so you don't get rush, Damn and it. it's now to the next turn. Pick your attack moves. Okay, I've picked one. Ready. I'm going to do a jump plus any attack. Which attack? Hold on. Quick attack. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Sorry. Yeah. Quick kick. All right, jump quick kick would be a minus one speed, so it is a one... It is a three. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, uh, Kyle? Quick punch. All right, quick punch goes first. Um, it can hit because you know it's not low, so uh, roll an attack roll, Kyle. Eight. You miss. Uh, so the jump kick now goes. Uh, make an attack roll, Scott. All right. Or Nash, I should say. Five. Gosh dang it. Now you both miss again. So you guys are like too far apart and a punch goes and a kick goes and nobody hits anything. Uh, start again. Quick punch. Okay. 
Kyle? Pardon me, I was reading what a combo is. Uh, that, but that's about Day's character. You gotta score Day's, and then you Okay. Finish. Yeah. Sandblast. All right, Sandblast. So Sandblast resolves before a quick punch, but it just applies a minus three modifier to the attack roll of Scott. So Scott, make your attack roll. All right. 17, finally, something decent. Uh, minus three is 15, still a hit. Or, wait, it's 14. Still a hit. Um, so you do one damage to Kyle. And five stagger. Start again. All right. Uh, Ready. Uh, me too. Let's do... Uh, let's follow that up with a quick kick. Okay. Uh, quick kick. Jump heavy kick. Jump heavy kick. So I think jump heavy kick would be a one speed. So quick kick for you, uh, Nash. Roll your attack roll. All right. There we go. A 19. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, Nash, or Kyle, you take four damage to put you at five, uh, 20, 20 HP, rather, sorry. And 15 stagger now. Okay, um, start again. Can I, are we standing next to each other physically in the, in the competition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to whisper, I don't want to whisper, I want to say something to Kyle, or to, to Varel. Yeah. Can I do that without judges hearing or anything like that or, or sure you can say something quiet okay i'm gonna quietly go you're not at the feature table i'll say i'll say varel i don't have a problem throwing this i can i can lose on purpose just you know if you want me to go go down quickly or slowly or do you want me to try my best i'm 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 here to help play however you want i'm throwing my punch as well okay <laughs> <laughs> Then I will do a heavy punch. All right. Okay. <laughs> Scott, what do you do? I'll do a, a heavy punch. Or sorry, a quick punch. Okay, <laughs> quick punch. So you, you can make your attack roll first. <laughs> Three. All right, you miss. Kyle, heavy punch. Pharrell, I mean, heavy punch. Heavy punch. Nine. That's a miss, too. <laughs> Start again. Damn it. All right, I got one. All right. Uh, quick kick. Heavy punch. Uh, okay, so quick kick is first. All right. Six. Six. All right, Pharrell, you're up. Fourteen. That's a hit. Okay, so you do three damage to Nash. It puts him at uh, sorry, twenty-one plus through minus three is eighteen and twenty stagger. And you connect. You have eighteen HP left and twenty stagger. Are they um, sorry, adding no. their M fighting skill modifier? Isn't there something with that? You yeah, yeah. Doing that? yeah. Okay. It's a plus two for me for dexterity. Uh, for me, it's. Oh, I didn't do it on the last one. So, so it you, add been... your, you, you add your you add your your modifier, your dexterity modifier. What right, is your modifier? Which is oh, you know why? Because it's zero. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, start over. <laughs> Next round. I got one. Okay, ready. Heavy punch. Duck, quick kick. <laughs> duck, quick kick. All right, so duck, quick kick, I think goes first, right? It's four, so roll Vorel. Ten. That's a hit. Oh, I got to do the math. All right, so, sorry, it was quick, quick kick or quick heavy, quick punch? Quick kick. Quick kick. So you do two damage, so 16, and then you, you take stagger uh, damage. Now, actually, you should only have 15 stagger. Uh, Bland's passive ability is that when he's not dazed, he gets 50% less stagger damage, so I'm correcting that to 15. Okay. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> he's got to be dazed to take full stagger. Um, every time I say something, I see that gif of Kristen looking confused. I think that's her webcam. I'm like, <laughs> did I... Did I say something confusing? <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's a gift. Her cam is a dump. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, start over the round, please. All right. Quick punch. Quick punch. Dazing blow. Okay. So quick punch goes first. Okay. Incoming. Nine. That's a miss. You get the dazing blow. All right. I'm Over's rolling it. Seven. Oh my god, you <laughs> Alright, you both missed. Start again. Crap. Um heavy kick. Heavy kick. 
All right, both at the same time. You both roll simultaneously. Okay. Ten. <laughs> Nine again. All right, only, Kyle, you get the heavy kick. It does four damage to Nash, which is 12 HP left, and he takes half of the ten stagger for 20. Start again. Um, quick punch. Heavy punch. Quick punch, heavy punch. So quick punch goes first. You're up first, Nash. 17. That's a hit. You do one damage to Kyle, down to 19, and he takes five stagger damage for 20. Start again. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a quick punch again. Right. Dazing blow. All right. You roll first, uh, Nash. 16. Okay. You hit for one damage. Okay. And five stagger. Start again. All right. Block. Kyle? Quick kick. All right. Quick kick gets blocked. Um, you can roll the... No, you can roll the attack roll. This is important. Roll, roll the attack roll for your quick kick. Nat 20. 22 total. Oh, damn. Uh, all incoming damage and status effects are negated except stagger damage. All right, so... Uh, block breaker. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't put this in, so this is technically not in the rules. I feel like a critical hit could probably bypass block, but it doesn't, as written. Hmm. So... You hit, you do the stagger damage, which is heavy, for, which is 20, but he's not dazed, so 25. Uh, now you get to roll rush, uh, Nash. Okay. Yeah. How does rush so roll work? a d6, roll d6? a d6, okay. and it has to be higher than uh, the attack that he did. Than Four. The speed that he did. Four. And that was a quick kick, right, uh, Kyle? Yes. Yeah, all right, so that matches. So you get to add 40 or speed of whatever move you do next turn, Nash. Oh. And it's now the next round. Pick your move. You get a plus four to speed on whatever you pick. Okay, I'm doing a... I'm do, I'll do a heavy kick, which gives that six Makes speed. it Makes it seven. Or seven Three yeah. plus four is seven. Yeah. Oh, no, two. Heavy kick is two. Six, you're right. Yeah, okay. Kyle, what are you doing? Jump, heavy punch. Jump, heavy punch. So jump, heavy punch is... Minus one to speed, so it's two, and yours is six. Uh, Varel, uh, Cotton, Nash, you go first. <laughs> oh, a whopping, a whopping four. All right, you miss, Kyle. Roll. All right, jump, heavy punch. Thirteen. It's a hit. You do three damage to Nash, Boo! and he takes half stagger for five. He's thirty stagger. Um, start again. Uh, let's do a duck quick punch. Duck quick punch. Okay. I picked duck quick kick. Uh, well, punch punch is faster than kick, so go uh, go Nash. See if my luck is still as bad. No, it's not too bad. Sixteen. All right, you hit, and that was a quick punch. So one damage to uh, to Varel. Seventeen HP left, and he takes five stagger, puts him at thirty. Start again. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Jump, uh, quick punch. Jump, quick punch. <laughs> this is a different thing, but okay. Well, what did I do? <laughs> oh, I did I did duck. Sorry. Yeah, I'll you do. You the same thing. You jump, quick punch. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I forgot I didn't jump. I ducked. No, I'll do I'll do jump, quick punch. That's all I'll do. I chose it. Duck, okay. heavy kick. You're doing a heavy kick? Duck, heavy kick. Duck, heavy kick. All right, so the jump, quick punch doesn't matter. I'll... He dodges automatically because he's ducking. So you you kick high. So Varel, oh no, but you went low. It automatically dodges all jumping. So you guys both do your moves and dodge each other completely. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, let's do um. Quick kick. Big time smackaroo. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. So quick kick goes first at the speed of four. All right, here we go. A two. <laughs> you miss. Big time smackaroo. Uh, roll an attack roll. Five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is good because you missed. You at least don't score a whiff. So that's that's good. You just miss with the big time smackaroo. Start again. Okay, quick hit again. Or punch. I get the feel you guys are going soft on each other. We're really like, not. Pray I'm for just... the dice to roll low because you're friends. I'm just rolling terribly. Uh-huh. For the most All part. Right, start again. Sorry, quick punch. There'll be only Heavy one kick. winner. All right, quick punch goes first. All right. 13. It's a hit. You do one damage to Varel. 
puts him to 16, and 5 stagger puts him to 35. All right. Start again. Uh, duck, quick kick. Heavy duck, punch. Quick kick, heavy punch. Okay, you're up first, Nash. Okay. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> That's a miss. All right, heavy punch time, Varel. Uh, he, he's ducked. Can't hit him. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ducking automatically dodges all high and mid uh, attacks. So, yeah. nothing. Start again. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, quick punch. Jump quick punch. Okay. Quick punch standing goes first. Nash, you're, okay. you're up. Five. Holy shit. Uh, Varel? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Go again. Oh, my lord. All right. Um, Man, is AC 10 hard to hit or something? Um, I don't know. It's not supposed to be at all. <laughs> it's like one of the easiest ACs. It's hilarious. even more embarrassing when you realize that Kyle's adding two to every roll that he did. Yeah, I can't. I don't get to add any, so it kind of makes sense for me. Um, all right. Uh, heavy kick. Dazing blow. All right. Heavy kick goes first. Man, I go first a lot. I'm not kidding. It's a four. I'm not trying to roll low. It's a four. Dazing blow. Dazing blow. Dazing blow. Dazing blow. Thirteen. Yeah. It it connects. <laughs> well, that's against you, Nash. No, and I know, connects. but I just want something to be higher uh, than a ten. You take zero damage, but you do take twenty stagger, which is reduced to ten since you're bland. Um, you take ten stagger, and you're now dazed. <laughs> Threll, only you get to choose an attack this round. Which I want to days. do a jump heavy kick. Okay, jump heavy kick. Roll your attack roll. 11. All right, now just one second. I'm looking for... I want to make sure the combo breaker... I don't have it on here, actually. I think it's when you... It's the other here. Here it is. You rolled 11, right? Yes. They ha he has to have been hit two or more times, so this counts as the second hit. So um, you hit. It was a jump heavy kick, which does five damage, um, bringing him to four HP remaining. Nash has four HP. And because he's dazed, he takes the full stagger, bringing him up to 50. So he has four HP and 50 stagger. Um, and the daze continues. Daze chains if you make a hitting blow on a daze character. So you're up again. Pick your move. Jump heavy kick. All right, jump heavy yeah. kick. Roll an attack roll. Ten. It's going to be a hit, but Nash can now make a combo breaking saving throw. Okay. So you have to make a saving throw. Roll ten plus any modifiers. I don't think you have any. So just roll. You have to roll ten or higher to combo save. Exactly a ten. You combo breaker, so as soon as he goes the kick, it negates the kick, your character grabs the leg, and now you can pick any move and do it back to him. Back um to him. any move. Um Yep, it clears the dazed and you can attack and you get advantage on the the, the crack back. Uh heavy punch. Okay, uh roll your attack roll with S advantage. Seventeen. Alright, you hit uh with the with the Crackback on the heavy punch, which is for bland heavy punch. Three damage to uh, Kyle, so he goes down to 13, and he takes 10 stagger damage, bringing him to 45. And I just want to see if you get return dazed. Uh, one second. Combo breaking. Combo save. Saving throw successful. Clear to daze. Advantage. Okay, no, he doesn't get dazed as a result. You could have picked something to daze him, but you picked a generic attack. Right. Okay, so oh. you're back to we're back to the start of a new round. Pick your moves, characters. Whoops. Um, a quick, quick punch. All right, quick punch. Jump heavy kick. Jump heavy kick. So quick punch goes first. Nash, you're up. One. <laughs> <laughs> no critical. F oh, is there critical failures? Hang on a second. If the attack result is a one, the player will become dazed if the opponent successfully hits them on their next attempted attack. Pharrell, you're up. Fifteen. Okay, so he's dazed, and this was a jump heavy kick? Correct. All right, so that means plus one damage. You do five damage, and as the you, as Kung jumps up in the air, does the kick, whoop, boo, Bland goes, uh, 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 and there's a big echoing, and you kick his head off, and the marionette goes flying. 
Wow. Then you land on the ground, psh, Kung raises his hand in the air, and it says, Kung wins. And he says, uh, what's his line here? Uh, he says, Girder your scales, softling. And then you won the match. And you look around to see who cares, and the crowd, the crowd is still cheering on uh, uh, Ventro. They're like, Ventro, 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 Ventro. And um, a little attendant elf comes up to you, Nash, and says, uh, thank you for competing, but uh, your time here is done. Please make your way into the audience. I'll say, the better man won, and nod my weird heart body in his direction with my one eye, and then float out of there. Okay, and as you do that, uh, you move to join Squirts and Nothing, where they sort of are in a, near the crowd. And there's like, Ventro, Ventro! And as you look on Varel, you see that Ventro gets up from his chair. And he sees apparently one, he's going, Yeah! Uh, uh, and then he just goes to the elf, who's sort of sitting there in shock with the hood over. And he just raises up a foot and kicks her in the stomach. Jeez. Losers, go off the stage! And he kicks her, and she sort of buckles back and falls off the feature stage table. And he goes, Yeah! Ooh, his big alligator man just. <laughs> and then the elf approaches you, Varel, and he says, um, You're up next at the feature table. That activity is unbecoming of a champion. And I point at. Bendro. Yes, but uh, Ventro's an intimidating character, and we give him a bit of license to enjoy his victories. He kicked a woman in the stomach. The alternative is much worse. Kicking you in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> for, for starters, yes. I see. If he kicks me in the stomach, am I allowed to fight back once I lose? I mean... Possibly, but it might be more trouble than it's worth. He he is a doom god. And, you know, if, he, if you attack him, he might bring more of his friends to attack back, and then you've got to bring more of your friends, and, and then next thing you know, the Lady of Pain is upon your doorstep. It's just better to, to just let it slide. Is his gym flammable? <laughs> um, well, it's not his gym. This is the Royce gym. Belongs to uh, the Merchant's Guild. It might be flammable, but please do not set it on fire. <laughs> I said no such thing. You will not remember this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, probably this thrill of victory has gotten to your head and you're speaking a little strangely. Please make your way to the feature stage. I head to the feature stage. And you hear coming up on the announcements like, Wow, what a match, Gilly Plant. Yes, indeed, it was quite a match. It looks like Ventro is one victory away from making it into the top eight tomorrow at the Great Coliseum, but he still has one more opponent, a new player. First time competing, possibly a clueless. His name is Varel, and he's also of a similar race to Ventro. They both look like alligators. Yes, it'll be interesting to see two alligators duke it out <laughs> at, at, for the finals at the Royce Gymnasium. And as you sort of uh, hear this on the stage that they're incorrectly qualifying you as an alligator person. Ventro looks at you and he goes, ha! So you beat that little turd! I bet you're proud of yourself. I had to beat a real champion. Minnow was no slouch. She slouched when you kicked her. She deserved that kick, because she's pathetic. So you are a battle god? Yeah! <laughs> If only I should be a god, yes. Perhaps one day I will be. Well, then we for, share like goals. But for now, I will crush you. And he sits down at the table and he goes, Come, let us get this over with so you may go cower in the corner like a little girl. And he sits down, puts his rump down, puts his large alligator hands on the happy stick. And here on the announcer, whoa, looks like uh, Ventro's ready to go right away. No ceremony or anything. He's just good to go. Just waiting on Varel here. Looks a little scared. I'll look at the sky and whoever's <laughs> saying these words. <laughs> and I'll sit down in the chair. <laughs> and you just hear, Ventro, Ventro. There's, there's, there's 10,000 people shouting out Ventro's name. Ventro, Ventro, Ventro. Now, you've had a day of matches to get yourself all 
juiced up learning the game. You feel that you've gotten smarter at the game. You now are fully skilled at M fighting, which means you add your proficiency bonus proficiency bonus in addition to your dexterity to your attack rolls. All right. All right. So go ahead and make sure that's marked off. That's like plus five or plus six now, right? Yeah, plus six total. All right. You're now skilled at M fighting. All right. And we're going to take a break there. When we come back, it is the finals between Fedro and Pharrell. Oh, man. All right. Be back uh, in a bit, everybody. Go get a drink, pee, whatever. And we'll be back in just a moment. (laughs) Go get a pee. (laughs) Go get a pee. Mm, Delicious. Yeah, a very good pee. And we'll see you in a sec. Circling back in. I have written. 